So real quick, just want to say sorry for the lack of uploads lately. There was an assignment due at the end of last week that um, really has to take priority over absolutely everything else. I even had to like wait a few days to watch Justice League. It was pretty annoying. But I'm um, catching up on everything now. I have a bunch of videos planned, so I'll probably be doing two or three uploads a day until the new episodes of Superman and Flash because I need to get this Flash review out, I need to get Superman and Lois 1 by 5 out, um, the new Batwoman episode I want to talk about, Justice League obviously, and then the Falcon and Winter Soldier pilot. But um, yeah, so just real quick as well, remember to subscribe if you have next. I make a lot of Flash and D or a lot of DC and Marvel videos. But uh, yeah, real quick, I just thought I know that a lot of people really hated this episode. Like, I think it's the lowest rated episode on I don't know where it's IMDb or what, but I know just there's not a lot of happy feelings about this episode or what happened in it. And I just I'm gonna say straight off that it was a messy episode for sure. But I still really enjoyed it. Well, I didn't really enjoy it, but I enjoyed it for what it was. I guess maybe I just wasn't expecting anything huge. Uh, mainly because the whole reveal that Harrison Wells was back didn't exactly up my hype for this episode. Just because I feel like they've overused all the Wells stuff so much at this point. So I went into this episode kind of expecting to at least have fun with it. And that's pretty much what happened. I at least had fun with it. Plus, I just really did want this Eva arc, this this mirror... Um, monarch arc. i think she's called mirror monarch now but this whole this whole mirror arc all this sort of stuff i did just want this to end because in my opinion while the bloodwork stuff was really good the bloodwork arc was probably the best the show has been since early season three i want to say but um other than the bloodwork arc this this eva arc i did think brought the show much closer to season four or five level quality than the early years in my opinion at least but because of that i just really didn't want this arc to end so this episode kind of did that for me. It ended this arc, it wrapped up all of this stuff, so that at least was something I was happy with, was that this arc was finally over and we can move on to cooler stuff. Because um, Eva just wasn't even a good villain in my opinion. I just did not really think she was threatening, I didn't like her a lot. I thought that she was probably the worst villain we've had besides Cicada, honestly. Uh, so I was again happy to see her. Her actress actually appeared in the new season of Mayans in the in last week's episode. So that was really weird going straight from seeing her as a really over the top cheesy villain to being like this FBI agent in Mayans. So that was kind of cool. But one thing I did enjoy was how they defeated her. I know that that's a, a big a big debate at the moment is that you know they used the power of love to beat her and it would mainly came down to Iris. But I thought that was fine. I I mean the power of love thing was kind of stupid for sure. But I did think that it made sense that Iris was the real one to defeat her because Iris had been tied to her pretty much during the entirety of this arc. It makes sense that, you know, Iris now would have to lead the final battle against her. Um, I also thought it was just smart to, like, that they beat her using their smarts and using their skills, not exactly just through a normal speedster fight like it always ends up being. Um, like, these, this is a whole team of geniuses. It, it's a little weird that they don't more often find ways to beat their villains that doesn't involve punching um but speaking of all of that one thing that i was really really happy with was the fact that crisis stuff was brought back all the paragon stuff was brought back because they did kind of drop the whole paragon thing I, i'm pretty sure supergirl mentioned it once or twice but other than that i'm pretty sure the paragon stuff is just completely been dropped on all the shows so it was really cool to see flash loop all that back once again showing the crisis is the one crossover that really is having long lasting impacts and effects so that was really really cool in my opinion um, i think it was during that that i realized okay i kind of like what they're doing with this final arc sort of thing um real quick just want to talk about harrison wells uh so he was back for an episode and he's gone again and I'm going to assume he's going to come back pretty soon. But it was kind of weird to bring him back at all. Because he did literally nothing. I personally think it would have been better for them to leave him dead at least for a little bit. Maybe not have brought him back in this episode. Um, Like maybe they can do the reveal that he was back at the end of episode 2 like they always plan to do. But then have a break before he comes back. Maybe like around the middle of the season we can finally have him back because even then that would probably have been the biggest stretch of flash we've had with no wells instead it just went from one episode we're sacrificing him the very next episode he's back so that was a little bit weird but uh 
the, it was cool with the Speed Force thing, um, or the Speed Force Storm thing. I'm not entirely sure where they're going for with that, whether that's just like Season 3, it's giving people powers. Um, we know that Godspeed's coming back, and Godspeed get, got his powers from a Speed Force Storm, I'm pretty sure, in the comics. So it, it's, it's quite possible, maybe even likely, that this Speed Force Storm is going to be related to what brings Godspeed back, because we know Godspeed's from the future, so maybe this is going to turn out being the origin story of Godspeed before we see him in the future or whatever. Um, I also don't know where this is related to Reverse Flash or not, because I know we were supposed to get a cliffhanger that was about Reverse Flash at the end of Season 7, but I always thought that that cliffhanger, or at least for the last week, I assumed that cliffhanger just was seeing Eobard show up and kill Wells again in the end of last week's episode. Um, and then I saw a lot of people saying that, well, we'd have to get a Reverse Flash cliffhanger this week, even though we got the stuff last week. So I wonder if this Speed Force Storm is related to that, or even it could just be... Now that the artificial speed force is gone, this could just be Reverse Flash escaping from where they trapped him, and now he's back out in the open. But the fact that all the lightning was different colors made me think it was more like a speed force storm than something related to Reverse Flash himself. Um, we also we got Ralph. I actually did not know that they were bringing him back at all. I assumed he was just gonna stay as a character off screen that they mentioned now and then. Uh, so him showing up, even though we didn't actually see his face technically, was very surprising to me. But I'm happy they're doing that. Batwoman is doing a very similar thing at the moment. Uh, and no matter what happens behind the scenes, I always think it's much better to recast a character than kill them off. Because I feel like killing them off is forever attaching that character to whatever happened with the actor or actress whereas if you recast them you're saying that this character is not defined by the actor or actress and you're moving on with it you're still moving their story on plus it's much better for fans of the character like i just think ralph was one of the better additions to the show in recent years so it would have been a shame that real life issues caused his character to just completely go away um, so yeah, I'm assuming they're recasting him, that this was a whole setup to say that he'll come back with a new face at some point next season, or this season, uh, which I'm happy about. I did, I, I, am, I am, I am happy they're doing that. I also got a Daft Punk reference, which I wonder if they threw that in right recently since Daft Punk just broke up, or if that was something that was just in the script the whole time, which is, it's a weird coincidence. Um, but yeah, it was a messy episode, but I think it had good moments, uh, I just didn't like this arc a whole lot, so seeing it end it all was pretty pretty cool for me. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you did. I'm gonna keep this review relatively short. Actually, you know, it's not that short, not shorter than usual. I thought this was shorter than that. But uh, yeah, just because I want to get on to making these other videos and also get this up pretty pretty ASAP for the new episodes. Um, so yeah, just remember to subscribe and thank you, and I hope you have a great day.